Hi guys, it's Thursday morning. It's coming up to quarter past seven and I'm about to leave to go and pick my mum up. My arms look huge. My arms are not, I mean, my arms are huge, but they're not that huge. <laughs> I do have big arms. It's something I'm always told my dad. My dad is quite big built. He's quite like a muscular, heavy, big boned man and uh, he had two daughters so <laughs> the result of that is I am very big boned I've got big arms like yeah it's just it's just what happened but yeah I'm in the car I'm about to go and pick up my mum it's quarter past seven we are going to drive to London we're going to London Zoo today so that's gonna be fun na, 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 na. So let's go, let's go and pick up the mum. So mum is actually driving us to London. Um, she is actually the designated driver. I mean, technically we're both the designated drivers because we don't drink, so. Mum is driving because I, I can drive. I totally think I could drive the distance, but I think it would really wear me out at this point in time. So I'm kind of like, I'd rather not drive and mum drive and me have energy for the day um, than me drive and not have energy for the day. So that's kind of what we do. So mum, um, we insure mum on my car. I think it's like 10 pounds um, for a day or something. So we're going for a couple of days. So it's probably like 20 quid. Oh, dad's car's not here. That's weird. Oh, it's at the garage. It's at the garage. But we're here, we're at my mum and dad's, and I'll see you later. I love how he's just chilling there, munching. I want one of them. You should. Confusing to you. So I know you're all taking a picture of her. I'm confusing to you. Yes, she's real alright. Look at that guy. I really like these mugs. We're in the hotel. We've got our stuff. Oh, Just going up. I'm going to take a picture if you want, ready? So we're in our hotel room. This is our bathroom. Thankfully we've got a bath because mum has treated us to some lush bath bombs, which I'm extremely excited about. Mum's dress for this evening. My date is going to look gorgeous. And oh, mum, you've not finished your tea. Mum's tea is brewing. I set my Roku up, so I've brought my Roku from home set it up on the hotel TV. Um, to be honest, it's probably a better TV than the one I've got at home because it's a Samsung. Um, and our TV at home, I think, is a Toshiba. Uh, the sound on it is not great. So we had these twin beds that were together under this, but mum's moved hers over here. So this is where Sorry, our beds snores. are. I don't actually snore, I don't think. <laughs> I do talk though, so. I'll be you always talk giving you a nice little chat <laughs> and then this is our little haul from Lush mum's got me a bubble bubble toilet and trouble bubble bar 
which smells so good. And this apparently, yeah, this. Oh, I have to charge this bar. Oh, yeah, you have to charge it up against the light. Under a light, which means I'll have to unravel it, unpack it from the packaging so that it gets the light. Just take it out of the paper bag and leave yeah. it under the light. Like, you could put it under this. Because it glows in the dark. So it'll make my bath glow, which is so cool. There you go, look. It's perfect for, like, glowing on a... Perfect lamp for charging a light. Char <laughs> for charging a bath bomb. <laughs> And then this is my bath bomb, which is Dragon's Egg, which smells so good as well. Sherbet lemon. Hey, we've both got lemon. Yeah. Soothed by jasmine. Mmm, smells so good. And then we've also got a cup of coffee, coffee face mask, which is like a, just a, um, like sample. But I'm pretty sure it will cover my face. There's quite a decent amount in there. And then a pink peppermint. Do you have a very large face? I do. Do you know? You exactly. <laughs> so mum is talking about, I went to get some new glasses. And I didn't realise, but my glasses have broken, like been broken for ages. It's super wobbly. And my, my actual screw has snapped. And I constantly have to like screw it back in. But the reason is because these glasses are too small for my face. So it means that my, uh, what are they called? Arms? The arms of my glasses? That's what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Um, this, they kind of bend out because my head's too big, which is why it's broken. So I went to Specsavers to get new glasses because I was so excited because mine are broken. And the guy literally said to me, oh, your head's too big for any of the female glasses. So he said, you're a 57 or something. Which meant that he was like, you can only get male glasses. So he takes me over to male glasses and I'm looking at Josh like, does he think I'm nuts? Why would I want to buy, like, men's glasses to wear 24-7? Like, obviously I don't want to do that. You did so, really like Dad, though. I did, yeah. <laughs> but so I'm wearing these glasses, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm just getting, oh, we've been there an hour and a half at this point. I've had my eye test done. I had, like, a scan of my eyes done to check for glycoma. Um, or for diabetes that was all good thankfully it's about time something went right with my health um, so I was really happy about that so we came downstairs and we'd been there so long and I was I just was like I want glasses I just want to get glasses and sunglasses so that I can have them for the rest of the summer and just have a better glasses experience and so because this guy was like no you can't get any of these I had to start the whole process of choosing them again and he was pulling all these glasses out for me and I was just like, yeah, sure, fine. And Josh was like, Lauren, don't just settle for glasses. Like, if you're not happy with them, like, we can stop and we can go somewhere else and find you other glasses, other frames. So I was like, okay. So Josh has said that whilst I'm in London, if we have time, we can go shopping and I can buy some glasses from anywhere. Um, and they will, Specsavers will put the lenses in my frames that I've purchased. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. But yeah. That's why I don't think this is going to be enough for my face because I, I have a big face. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. We're all set up. We're going to go out for food later. I brought some games just in case mum fancies some games, but I don't think she will. I tried to take these on my trip with dad to, um, to get the car. And I was so excited, mum. I was so excited to sit in the train and play, like, some games with dad. But he was just not into it. He was literally just on his phone playing games. I literally got the game out and put it. So I was like, do you want to play with Offly Deal? Or do you want to play some cards? And dad was just like, no, not really. Just like, he was just sat there like, I'll play on my phone as well then. So I'm on my way to a shop to find some squash and water because that's my go-to drink. If I have too much water, I feel sick. So I need something to hydrate myself. And mum wants some more tea bags. So card and we're ready to go. I'm back. I've got the goods. Um, I've got some more tea bags for mum and I'm off back to the room. Mum, I think the glowing's completely stopped. <laughs> yeah, I literally shut the door and it's just pitch black. <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm back from London. I had a lovely time with my mum 
and I didn't close off this video so I thought I would do it now. Today is Saturday so I'm going to continue my other vlog and I'm going to upload my London trip as an individual vlog on Monday and then continue the weekly vlog. So um, yesterday we went to Westfield, um, I went to my physio appointment, we had some food at GBK and then we came home. So yeah I didn't get any footage really from yesterday because it was just more one of those days where I had something planned um and then we just kind of were very spontaneous with where we went but yeah i want to say thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and i will see you in the next one bye guys